my name is Brittany Braden. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Um, today's class is going to be a clicky scope class with a resistance band. I have a medium strength, but you can always go heavier or lighter. Um, the bands that I use are called Band-Aids. They're my favorite company. I'll put the link in the description box if you're looking to get some for your home practice. Um, otherwise, let's get into it. So let's do a quick warm up, set the band off to the side, come onto your hands and knees and table. Shoulders over top of the wrist, knees hip distance apart, and just move through a couple cat cows. So chest comes forward, send the tailbone up, and then round and push away from the floor. And again, chest forward, tailbone up, and then round. One more time. And then round. And come into a neutral spine. Turn your fingers to face the sides of the mat until you turn your fingers all the way around, fingers face the knees. Press down through all of the fingers as you shift your weight forwards and backwards. Give the wrist a little love. And then rock back and as your hips go back, start to lift the heel of the hands up. So thumbs will eventually come up, but press the other four fingers down. Come onto your fingertips now. And then come off the hands and give your hands a good shake. So you're going to interlace the hands, press the palm of the hands together, and just do some circles to the wrists going in both directions. And then shake it out. Come back onto the hands. You're going to tuck your toes under and come into downward dog. So you're going to lift the hips up and back. Walk the legs out. So bend one knee straight in the other and just shift side to side. Heels lift, you're going to bend the knees, and then walk your feet forward. So your feet are going to be about hip distance apart. Lift up high onto the balls of the feet, bend your knees, and come to sit on the heels. And then lift the hips up, ground the feet. Heels lift, bend the knees, come to sit on the heels. Hips up and fold. Two more, heels lift, lower down. Come up and fold. One more, lower, and come up. So now you're going to slowly roll yourself up to stand. And we're going to make our way down onto our backs. Grab your band. So you're going to pay, place your band just around the feet. And then bend your knees. Set the heels down on the ground about hip distance apart. So make sure your heels aren't tight towards your glutes. Walk them forwards a bit. You're going to lift the toes up towards the ceiling. Hands on the ground, framing your hips. So you're going to take an inhale. Think of a full 360 degree breath. And then using your exhale and using your glutes, you're going to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So your inhale, lower the hips down to a hover. And then exhale, pick it back up. And I want you to feel like you're dragging your heels to the glutes. Lower down, and then lift up. Lower for five. Pick it up. For four. Three. Two. And then one more. And then slowly roll down the back as you lower down. So keep the feet around or sort of the band around the feet. Just take the feet off the ground and bring your shins parallel towards the ceiling. Pelvis rooted into the floor, hands behind the back of the head, elbows are wide. Now lift the chest up, both shoulder blades come off the floor. And then from here, you're going to hinge from the hips. You're going to lower the heels down. It might be a little bit, might be halfway. Some of you might tap the heels and then pull your legs back up to where you started. So again, hinge from the hips, lower the heels down, and then pull them back up. Fun, right? <laughs> five more, lower for five. Four. Three. For two. And then one more. and hug your knees in. Rock it out. Now keep both knees in, hands come behind the back of the head again, and lift your chest up. So both shoulder blades come off the floor. Now you're gonna twist, so bring that right elbow to the left knee, keep that left leg where it is, and send that right leg forward. So push your foot into that band, you're coming into a bicycle. And then come back to center. Now twist the chest to the right, so bring that left elbow to the right knee, push that left leg forward, and then come back to center. Twist over to the left, come to center, and then to the right. 
center. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, and then hug it in. So you're gonna keep the feet around the band, just rock and roll a few times up and down the back. And then you're gonna come up, and I know it's awkward, but you're just gonna kinda of swing your legs around. Come onto your hands, keep the feet around the band, just come into a downward dog. So hips go back, you can walk the legs out. And then bring your shoulders over top of the wrist as you come into a plank. So make sure you're not collapsing down through the chest. Activate the core, support the spine. And I want you to feel like you're spreading the shoulder blades apart. Crown of the head reaching forwards. Now pull that right knee in towards your chest and then step it back. Left knee to your chest, step it back. Right, step it back. Left, <laughs> right, left. Keep going. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew! Downward dog. Lift your heels up, bend your knees. Again, I know it's awkward. You're just going to kind of waddle your feet forwards until you come towards the top of the mat. Now keep the band around your left foot, step out of it with the right foot, step back with the right leg, and set your right knee down to the floor. Lift your chest up, now you're gonna grab the band with your right hand. So the band's underneath your left foot, and you have a band with the right hand, and you're in like a low lunge. So from here, you're gonna pull. So pull with the band, right elbow grazes around the side ribs, and then reach down. Now you're gonna lean forwards, you're gonna come into a runner's lunge with the legs. So pick up your back knee, you're in a runner's lunge, and then pull again. Bend your back knee so you can either lower the knee to the floor or hover. Pull, lean forwards, and pull. Bend the back knee, row, lean forwards, row. Now we have five more. Row, lean forwards, four, three, Two, one more round, nice, and then step forward, set that right foot switch, so take the band around the right foot, stepping back with the left leg, set the left knee down, left hands holding the band, chest lifts, rib cage over top of the pelvis, pull, lean forwards, runner's lunge, that's one round, bend that back knee, row, lean forwards, row. And the back knee, five, four, three, two, last round, and runner's lunge. Well done, step to the top of the mat, take your band out from underneath that foot, shake it out. Now turn to face the left side of the mat, Long edge, it really doesn't matter which way you face. Your feet are wide, heels in, turn your feet out. Now your hands are coming into the band. Reach the band up towards the ceiling and then grip the band. So the palm of the hands are facing forwards, grip the band. So from here, you're gonna lower down, lower the hips, actively press the knees open. So make sure you're not rolling into the arches of the feet. And then pull with the right arm, keep that left arm straight, reach up, and then you're gonna come to stand and straighten the legs. And you're gonna lower down on that squat, press the knees open, pull with the other arm, so left, reach, and stand up. We're gonna do 10 rounds. <sighs> Ready? <laughs> Let's go. So you're going down for one, pull, lower, that's one round, two, pull, lower, <sighs> three, breathe. Four, five, 
Almost there. Five. <laughs> Six. Seven. You cursing at me yet? <laughs> Eight. Few more rounds. Nine. Last one, 10. Well done, shake it out, band to the side. Feet come parallel, hands on the hips. Lift the crown of the head up and then just come into a wide-legged forward fold. Fold over top of the legs, let the head relax. Shake it out. And then turn your heels in again, feet turn out, bend the knees, drop the hips. So this time take your hands or elbows to the inside of the thighs and you're just gonna rock side to side. Hips stay low, just take your left hand to the inside of the thigh. You're gonna send your left shoulder forwards and just draw your right shoulder back. And then switch, right shoulder forwards, left shoulder back. And then come to center. Come all the way up to stand, shake it out. Thank you so much for moving with me. If you wanna join me for weekly live classes, links in the bio to join me. Otherwise, see you again real soon. Bye.